Hello everybody, welcome to the sound test room. Today we're going to take a look at Photo 4. So this appeared this morning, strangely, um, and it's kind of a uh, super cool way to, it's a synth. It's like, a, I don't know, is it, it's just, it's just very nice. Um, I'm going to show you how it all works. So it's a very dark screen, so I hope you can see this okay, but you may be able to see this, and there's some dust here, and something's brushed dust off. Um, you may be able to see this little tiny dot here, just above this keyboard. If I press this, you see it will light up. Uh, it's Core MIDI, Audio Bus compatible. And uh, let's see how it works. So we have this little thing here. We hit Voice here. You'll see we have this thing that says Oscillators plus and minus, and you'll see it's just one. So this is just representing one monophonic. See, we've got a polyphony turned down to one. One monophonic oscillator. So kind of an initial patch kind of thing that I set up. Um, yeah, so let's see. So if we add another one here, so if we go plus and we add two, you'll see another dot has appeared. And we have two oscillators and you can hear the slight phasing. And three oscillators. And you can, depending on the power of your device, add up to 100 of these. And the amounts will depend, the polyphony will depend on the amount. So, you know, you can't have... It fully polyphonic with 100 oscillators running because it would just explode. So there we go. So we've got three oscillators running now and we can change our wave shape. And our octave. And again our polyphony. So we're on one uh, we're on monophonic so let's just go to three and you can see what happens here as i play more the more dots will light up so if i just for instance took it down to one oscillator you will see that the polyphony will change and bit dots will disappear okay so we'll leave it on three and we'll leave it with three oscillators so we have three representations then you see they might be slightly moving just turn it down a bit. So there we've got a polyphonic three oscillator synth running straight away. So let's adjust something on our envelope now because it's a little bit wah in it. Now if we go to this thing that says flock this is where you can control these dots and how they move and interact and this is what's going to change your sound quite differently from other kinds of synths so if we speed it up a little see? turbulence filter here and we can, uh, you see we're going to start to get some uh, interesting sounds going on also if you go back to our envelope a second take the release down and let's go to echo here and let's uh, drop it up and mix a little and let's speed up the time and this stereo here, see we've gone to, to mono now, if you're listening through headphones it'll ping pong. Okay, let's stop the AD echo for a bit. Let's go to our arpeggiator, and we have a great arpeggiator too, so sorry, arpeggiator on. You 
can see that we have lots of different controls here for our arpeggiator as per normal. Tempo control, direction up, down. Cool beans. Cool beans. I think this is really cool. So anyway, you get the basic idea of how it, how it functions, how it works. If you go back to voice now, let's go mental and add some more oscillators here. So we watch our polyphony here. I'm going to see if it will change. Maybe not, if we can go quite high here. So we have 10 oscillators now. Let's switch our arpeggiator off a sec. Let's play with this now. So anyway, guys, you get the basic idea of how that works. Now, also on the filter, you have a high pass as well here. So you can... Over here we have our little settings button and you can see that my little micro key is um, doing the MIDI and you can have show keyboard or switch it off so you just got a blank screen so it's nice if you've got just the MIDI keyboard running you know and then you've got running background um, there and because we have audio bus and interrap audio too also don't forget as well so there's our little settings and here we have up here we have our uh, I think there's maybe 50 odd presets already included and obviously you can save your own as well I would suggest setting up an initial patch as well so ambient here so if we just switch to Borealis there and this is where you'll get you can get some really nice sounds going on this is an iPad for uh, iOS 8.1 that latest update and see how many voices we've got here 20 oscillators now for voice polyphonic Cassiopeia Guys, it's two pounds ninety nine p or that maybe four dollars. At least slightly less at the moment. At about twenty percent off or something. I think it's really nice. And that, that that's a nice sound. I don't want to spend too long going through all the presets. Wow.
a little bit about uh, Photo 4 here where we can see who made it and stuff. Then there's a support and a user guide. So I think it's dead straightforward though, and it's not complicated. It's not complicated, and you get some real nice sounds here, you know? Let's have a look at some of the uh, arpeggiators, the arpeggio uh, presets. That's something that is cool, is listen. It'll just, these nice changes. So if, let's just go for lead a sec. It's almost instant. Oh, so it's cool. That's a nice arpeggio. Switch your page. That's a nice sound, that is. So some lead sounds here. Some great, really great sounds. Great sounds, easy to program. Come on guys, what more do you want? Audio bus compatible into that audio, eh? Developers watching one thing I think would really, really make this brilliant. I don't think it's got one. Is a glide portmento would absolutely make this stunning. Plectrum brass. Maybe um, modulation. I've got pitch bend. Maybe uh, modulation would be cool. Oh. Awesome. So there you go, guys. Photo 4. I, I, it's, I really dig this. It's really great. Easy to program. Sounds great. Loads of different features and stuff. Some nice presets to get you started. But the most interesting thing would be, obviously, programming your own because it makes life very simple to do that, you know? Um, yeah. Pretty cool. All right, guys. I hope you enjoyed this. If you if you have, please subscribe to the channel or like the video. Um, if you're feeling really, really kind, as Christmas is coming, please donate something small to us. It helps us. Uh, it helps us keep maintaining the site and and doing all the videos we do and everything like that. All right, guys. Or oh, oh, have a look at our Patreon program for as little as a dollar a month. 
that to help support us massively too. Um, or if you're an advertiser, you can uh, hit us up at scientistroom.com, get some advertising rates and stuff. That's cool. We're, we are cheap. Cheap and cheerful. All right, guys. Uh, thanks for the promotion, listen. And uh, I'll see you later. <laughs>